Alrighty. Welcome, everybody, to Dunninger's debut on Bleacher Report. The Jaguars just defeated the Cowboys 28-23 to in preseason week one, which, wow, meaningless, showed a little bit of signs of things to come this season, exciting things, um, and exciting results of our recent roster building, Trent Baalke, him. Can't wait to dive into that, but first, let me introduce my co-host, Eric Dunn. Usually, we record together, but we're both on separate missions right now, so uh, bear with us tonight. Eric, first uh, mission right now is to explain this tweet that you tweeted uh, after probably we scored our second touchdown or maybe after Trevor like threw a touchdown and then scored the two-point conversion because that's yeah. when I was feeling like we were going to hit 40 a game. Yeah, that was after the first score. But hello, everybody. My name's Eric Dunn. As Andy here mentioned, we do a YouTube podcast, Dunn and Drew. So if you've heard of it, welcome back. If you haven't, check us out sometime. But Yes, this was an amazing game, but it wasn't a hot start for Trevor. But after the defense got the ball back and they went out there for another drive, Trevor looked like normal Trevor in training camp. You went to training camp with me. It looked like he was in training camp, just easily going down the field. So once he did that, I had seen enough, as the tweet says, and Jags are going to score 40 a game. But I have one complaint because everyone likes to tell you to relax when you're hyped. Yes, I get it's preseason, but my goodness, we wait half the year to watch football again. So sorry I'm excited for my quarterback throwing a touchdown, but I wish everyone that kills the vibe would relax and just lighten up a bit because it's overreaction season. And if you listen to Dunn and Drew, I'm the king of overreaction. So just let it happen. Live in the moment. People have a hard time doing that. Just live in the moment. I live in the moment. And sure, takes can age, and I, I could be wrong, but... What's the fun in waiting for something to happen, you know? That's boring. So with that being said, our first, our second, and our third string teams all scored a touchdown. We are a machine led by Doug Peterson and Trevor Lawrence, and we are scoring 40 a game. And you see 176 likes. I think people agree. Agree. All right, let's uh, let's uh, go through um, the tweets from the game. Oh, not, oh, we have we have our first uh, because oh, no. I like to revisit. To, usually they're my tweets, but I uh, I had a busy evening, so I was just retweeting thoughts that I agreed with or thoughts from the game that I thought was funny. Um, Calvin Ridley had okay, so I don't think it was the first drive. Maybe it was the second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the first drive, Trevor uh, Trevor threw a, a pick on his first ever pass, and I don't know if you can see it, but this is it here. Um, Kind of weird having two receivers running in the same spot, uh, but Trevor admitted that he just underthrew Ingram. I don't think this is a ball that he takes a chance on in week one, play one, uh, when we uh, go to Indianapolis. Uh, but like you said, when we got that turnover on the punt and then got, got the ball again and we went down and scored, I was like, okay, yeah, say less, Trevor. I don't, I don't need much. I don't need to see much more than that. Um, so this this next tweet says the uh, defense looking way better than I thought, and yes, but as Shipley noted here, they were going against uh, a lot of backups on the Cowboys. But yeah. I will say it was refreshing because in Jaguars teams of past of old, it wouldn't matter. Like our our defense would look the same first string, second string, third string offense that they're going up against. So it was nice to. Uh, it's just is it is it a weird, weirdly. I don't know if I just missed football so much, but it was weirdly, weirdly refreshing. A game to watch uh, from our from our first string, second string, third string. Mm -hmm. um, and I said this. This was uh, I said this after the interception by Trevor, um, and then we recover the punt, uh, fumble, and then go down. I, maybe this is after. Yeah, this is after we score. I said, yeah, it was a shaky start. Um, but if these two teams played these starters for the whole four quarters, we definitely would have put up 40 and it wouldn't have been close. Um, it's called that overreaction, but I'm a fan of, uh, of what I've been seeing. Stop yeah. me if you have any comment. I'll pause since we have a little delay. If you have yeah. anything you want to say. I'm, I'm waiting for you to pause going on little rants. But yes, I agree. Trevor was interviewed about, oh, it's on actually right now. But he said it was a little under overthrown he was just testing it out it's preseason he can clean that up 
Uh, people were overreacting to that interception. I was one of them. <laughs> but, yeah, he quickly turned it around. But um, it was nice. What did you feel? Oh, man. It, it just reminded me of the old Jaguars because, you know, we've been waiting all season for Trevor to actually get out there and play an organized game. So you throw a screen pass, okay, and then the very next play you throw – I know. I ain't throwing it in the next <laughs> <laughs> But – uh, when he was out there on the second possession with Calvin Ridley, bro, it looked so smooth. It, it looked just how it looked in training camp, and everyone's like, oh, don't, don't overreact to training camp. They're supposed to look good, but no. The throws to, to Calvin Ridley, it looked mm, it looked amazing. I'm ready to see that uh, in a regular season game. But um, also in the offense, there's so many throwing options. We had the Christian Kirk – well, he threw to Calvin Ridley a couple times before the touchdown drive, but you have Christian Kirk catching the touchdown. You have Zay Jones catching the two-point conversion. You have Jacob Harris catching that deep ball from QB2. We got a lot of options out here. I don't know how they're going to dwindle it down to a few receivers in the uh, depth chart when the time comes. But I'm going to throw a poll up here, guys. I wanted you guys to tell us what is your favorite part of the first half of this game. We had a lot of highlights in this game. We had Gregory Jr. on the ball hawking side on special teams. Seventh round pick, I think. He was deep in the draft, so he's getting his shine. He balled out in this game did you like trevor lawrence's touchdown pass the two-point conversion finally seeing trevor lawrence score for us did you like that deep ball from jacob harris that i just mentioned in between two defenders or did you like our yes. line getting some pressure in this game and i get that the cowboys had their second team defense out there but like i said in the beginning it doesn't matter i'm not overreacting if we can get some pressure when we're supposed to that bodes well for the regular season and maybe that can give the defense some energy going into the next game as well can i answer the poll question myself yes oh okay i see i didn't know you posted i see here um uh, mine was definitely the two point conversion because he already scored that touchdown with like plenty of time in the pocket i was like okay and then our uh rookie uh tackle is playing right tackle this game mm -hmm. anton harrison made a great play to give Trevor more time. So he was just sitting back in the pocket, finds Christian Kirk, and it was like, let's go for two. And then he just does it to what was so special is there's another weapon in them. When he threw it to Zay Jones, when he caught the two point, I was like, bro, we have so many people. <laughs> like Christian Kirk, Zay Jones, Ingram, Ridley, Travis, it's crazy. So that was my favorite part. That's when it sunk in and I'm like, whoa, we, uh, we're loaded on offense. Yeah, it looks like uh, D-line getting pressure is actually leading the poll right now, which I can't blame people for saying that. That was one of the biggest question marks coming into That's this. belief. Yeah. And I don't know I don't know if Trayvon and Josh Allen got that many reps. I was seeing Yasir Abdullah and Devon Hamilton get back in the quarterback more than anybody else, which I was shocked. I was unfamiliar with your game, Yasir. I was unfamiliar. <laughs> All right, let's let's get let's get some more tweets in here. Hold on. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is like this was the same same thought. Who are you gonna cover? Like mm -hmm. Christian Kirk. Oh, and then another another highlight. Like, but he's always good. Logan Cook just bombing the punts. <laughs> the punter. Yeah, I saw that tweet. So from. good. Remember when we used to say our punter was our best player? Um. No. Oh, yeah, I guess not. You're, you're <laughs> blinded by how good we are now. You don't even remember what we used to no. <laughs> Uh Great tweet by me. Jags defense is addicted to the football. That was after the punt recover. And then we had two. We had a near pick six. Then we had another near pick. And then we had the, uh, I think it was, a, yeah, the forced fumble and then recovery when we took over on the goal line. I was like, what? Wow, we're just addicted to the football now. I love it. Oh, yeah, Gregory Jr., who showed out in both of those yeah. plays. Um, Third loss. He said, our defense will, our offense will not be good. You almost had me. You had me in the first half. He said it will be elite, elite. Right. So, 40 I games. love Tanks. I love Tanks' long run. That was sick. Yes, that was good. He, uh, he struggled at first, but I blamed that on the O-line because it, basically when he got the ball, the line was closed up, so – I can't really fault Bigsby there. And then even someone in our Discord, they were like, the tank Bigsby hype was, uh, he said that he was overhyped in the preseason. I'm like, no, he wasn't. Calm down. Let him get a touch. 
And he did, busted it outside, went 30 something yards. So just relax, everybody. We're going to be good. And so we do this thing on our podcast called Him Throw of the Week um, during the NFL season, but we're going to do it again. We're going to start it up early for the preseason here. Oh, yeah. And it's we all nominate the best throw from the weekend. And I don't think this might be like, imagine if Mahomes did this. I don't think you'll find a better. Oh, don't do this. Okay. I don't think you'll find a better throw like all year in the league. I know it's like backup, backup, but tell me there's going to be a better touchdown throw than that. There's literally not. Oh, gosh. We're deep. And it's, We're deep. Right? <laughs> and it's crazy that it came from our third string quarterback. Now, now second string, just because of that. Yeah, maybe. Someone, um, someone on Twitter called him Nathan Mahomes. <laughs> Yeah, that looked total Mahomes. <clears throat> but yeah, it was, it was just a refreshing game to like see that we have depth now. And I think that's a testament to the roster building. Like we have it. I don't know if it's just because I've been going to, I went to a few uh, training camps mm -hmm. and recognized players I've been seeing out there. Or if like we have like legit depth that there are players that might not make the team that will definitely get picked up by other teams, wide receivers especially. We're very deep there. I just I just hope we make the right choices because we finally have options to make this offense great. But the bulky masterclass, it came to fruition in this game. I didn't know what to expect from the first preseason game ever. I know I wanted the starters to come out there and score. They did that. When we were watching training camps, I knew that I said this out loud. I said that our second team, but I was overhyped during training camp, but it, it seemed like I was right during this game. I said our second team could beat anybody's second team. And our third team was out there beating everybody's third team. But Balky Masterclass, it's it, it got put on show this game with Abdullah and uh, Antonio Johnson out there making plays on defense, wrapping people up. There's a lot of options on this defense, and I think a lot of that, most of it, is credited towards Doug Peterson just having that locker room together. And the season they had that last year, everybody is just ready to win here in Jacksonville. And that ending last year against the Chargers and that comeback, the second half of the season, the energy is different. And come on, guys. If you're a Jags fan, don't talk down to other Jags fans for being hype in the preseason or just being hype about anything because look at the last two decades of this team. We haven't felt like this ever. So I think we should all be celebrating any anything that happens good with this team. It's a moment in time because – some teams, they win a Super Bowl run, they go on a Super Bowl run, and they're they're not good for another 10 years. So I want to enjoy it while we're good, and we're still on the incline. Like, we're right here, and we're about to go up here. So just enjoy it and let people talk how they want to talk. Just don't – so the only thing I have an issue with is someone gets excited over preseason wins. That doesn't matter. But you can be hype over seeing that your team has some quality depth. I think that's something that you can see in the preseason. I think, yeah. like – the speed definitely changes in the regular season. Um, maybe Trevor doesn't get 10 seconds to throw a touchdown to Christian Kirk. Um, but maybe our off maybe our offensive line will be good. We'll see. Um, those things are hard to tell in the preseason, but depth, depth is exciting to see. So do you far. think we are keeping all of those running backs? No, I saw someone ask about Snoop. I don't I don't know if Snoop will make it. Yeah. Um, that's too many running backs to keep. The whole season yeah i just i don't know i saw all those they, they did a graphic for all the running backs and there's like five of them I'm like, yeah oh, all these i think i think they'll keep four but connor's gonna be the one that they get rid of because i think Big i feel like already slides up there is running back too yeah but let's throw uh, another up here um since we're talking about rookies here did ventro miller get a sack yeah he did the rookie from Florida, right? Yeah, the linebacker. Yeah, that's cool because I saw that he got like a, he got he blew up uh, during training camp one day, just like went on a tantrum or something, and he had kind of been in the doghouse from what I heard. Yeah. Um, from the coaches like running sprints and stuff during practice. That's sick that he had a sack. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a good little redemption. Yo, which which rookie since we had the biggest draft class ever? Uh, which rookie? you think is going to make the biggest impact this season? Not not from just the poll, but if you have one outside of the poll. Is that the one that you posted? 
Yeah, Anton Harrison, Antonio Johnson, um, I think Bigsby. Parker Washington got some reps in the slot as well as kick returner. Britton Strange, I think he had about three catches, but yeah, I'm hyping. I'm hyping. Strange both. looked. Strange looked good. Like he was, if if he can do what he looks like he can do, which is run, catch, and block, then he'll get a lot of playing time. Oh, there's no if he he is able to do that. Yeah, but that's that's gonna get him on the field a lot. So, but I it's just tough to. There's too many weapons for us to like see him have a big impact. I think it might just based on the options here, which I think are the best options to put for this poll. Thank you. <laughs> probably got to go Bigsby just because like to have a change of pace back that, well, not even, he doesn't really change the pace. He's still fast, yeah. but he can, he's like big and can go in the middle. I think he's going to be, how many touchdowns will he take from Travis this year? That's what uh, he's got fancy football owners kind of nervous. Cause like when you, <laughs> yeah, when you want to take Travis, um, you got Bigsby that might be a, a vulture at the goal line. <clears throat> I like, we it just started such a Jaguar start with the pick by Trevor and then also we've been hyping up tank as like our short yardage guy and we needed to get like third and one I think and he gets like stood up right before the first down I'm like of course like we all the narratives are just being shoved back in our face is, is, is this going to be our shtick are we going to be the team that always starts like crap but then is able to finish the game i hope not i can't deal with that this season i don't that was that's one thing that i don't want to see next next week at the starters play i yeah i don't want that to be who we are i am ready for us to score 35 40 points a game and the defense make the play to win the game i'm cool with that i don't want to be stressed i can't I was so that. happy with the pass rush i know con considering it's tough to hang my hat too much on it, but that is, that's probably my number. That is my number one storyline. I think going into the season is the pass rush because I think I, I think I see everything else is there side. Maybe nickel corner will be a battle, mm -hmm. but if, if we have a pass rush in December, November and December and January, then we can go all the way to February, but it'll really rely on Yasir. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's up now. After that game, Josh Allen, Trayvon Walker, Devon uh, Hamilton, uh, Roy Robertson Harris. Look at me go. Yeah. Look at me, look at me knowing the Jags depth chart. You know, the whole roster now. We we all in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I want yeah. to uh, Brenton Strange for a little bit because I, I talk about him way too much. But as yeah. you know, as you know, I'm a Penn State fan. So I watched him a lot. Uh, I, I watch Penn State games religiously. I try to see us beat Ohio State every year, but it never happens. But Brandon Strange, I compare him to uh, a low-key Travis Kelsey because he can block, he can catch, he can run routes. He's a little shaky right now, but I think he'll get tightened up because Doug is the tight end whisperer. But people are going to see Brandon Strange, and uh, God forbid we get an injury to Evan Ingram. I think Brandon Strange will be – uh, a good usage, like up the middle, red zone. Like, uh, what's that position they call? That's like not a fullback. There's H back. Another, yeah, H back. He can do all those roles. And I think if he's – most of his touchdowns are going to be like that Kelsey game where he had, what, three catches, three touchdowns. He's that type of player where he can just get open because they're going to be focusing on everybody else on our offense. We just listed them earlier in this show. Calvin Ridley, really, Christian Kirk, Zay Jones, who are you guarding? And you're gonna look at Britton Strange and be like, Psh, and he's gonna be wild. Yeah, right. He could sneak, he could sneak out. Yeah. And I can't wait for that first play in the red zone where he's just wide open for the touchdown. I'm gonna go crazy. And I hope <laughs> I know you, Doug loves his tight ends. He could scheme something up. Hey, let's get some uh some more polls up before we have to uh close it out. Do All the right. uh, touchdown leaders for the season. All right. Next poll, other than Trevor Lawrence, who will score the most touchdowns for the Jags this I season? made an edit. No, oh, I just saw it. <laughs> Calvin Ridley, Christian Kirk, Evan Ingram, Nathan Rourke. <laughs> Bro, I saw that. I was like, I didn't put that. <laughs> yeah, I took the running backs out because if you combine them, that, it might be a runaway. Um, my finger went like this when I hit send because I saw Nathan Rourke. I was like, oh, hey, that's uh, Wrong one. <laughs> a different one. Um, <laughs> But yeah, 
I think it's going to be Calvin Ridley. He's going to. Where's our overlay? Oh, I took it off. It... Just for the... oh, okay. Okay. I can put it back if you want. Whatever. We're about to we're about to wrap up. Um, who's cute? <laughs> when did you do that one? Who's cuter? Oh. <laughs> wow. That was, that was the first one I did. You ran away with it. I did. I'm sorry. I, that was just um, that was just for an ego boost. <laughs> <laughs> Probably when I was talking and talking. And um. Oh man, I thought your oh, I thought your signal went out. I was about to be like, oh, no, got go. Got a blast. Who are you? Who are you most looking forward to watching this season? We don't have to put up the poll right now, but is it the options will be Trayvon Walker, Josh Allen, Calvin Ridley, Trevor Lawrence, or the rookies? Um, I'm I'm actually really excited to watch the rookies on this team because I'm saying that because I we already know what to expect from the starters, you know, Calvin and all them. We we should expect greatness from them this season. So I'm looking forward to seeing the rookies and the depth that we do have. Can they keep up with the exceptional talent that we have in the starting position? So I'm glad that we saw that execution in this first game. There were some hiccups. That's to be expected. But they pulled out the victory, and in the regular season, that's all that counts. So, can't wait for that. I think mine's Calvin. I just <laughs> like, yeah, I think he's just gonna catch like a hundred balls. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be what thirteen targets a game, 13, 14, up there with. But will he get like as many touchdowns as we think? If Who he knows, does, because we have. So many other options at the goal line or in the red zone. Hey, it could just be like a decoy. Listen, I don't care who's scoring touchdowns as long as we're scoring right. touchdowns. You know, I think they will be scored. Yes. D, uh, oh, is that Webb? Is that Webb? No, nah, DJ Noodle. It looked like Webb from the jersey. Yeah, Webb but yeah that nothing worked. Hey, that is, a, is it? That's his Chargers jersey. What up, Webb? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess we can wrap it up. We're going to post this on our YouTube channel, too. You guys should go head over there, youtube.com slash Dun and Drew. Uh, shout out to Bleach Report. Thanks for hitting us up and having us do this. We're going to host again. Uh, what game? The Dolphins-Jags first home preseason game. First and only preseason game in two weeks. Also, do you guys like my shirt? You guys like my shirt? <laughs> my, mom, my mom got me. <laughs> hey, thanks to everybody that watched and commented. We'll see you for the Dolphins game here on the Bleacher Report app. Till next time, this is Dunn and Drew signing off. Go Jags. See you soon. Go Jags. Go Nathan Rourke. <laughs>